Good morning all, hope you're doing okay. Uh, the risk sentiment overview for the 12th of the 7th, 2022. We had a really good day yesterday. Uh, we made 189 pips on our signals, so really happy with that. I just wonder whether or not we might see a little bit of a payday because they got so destroyed yesterday, they're gonna probably have to leave the casino if they get destroyed again and then again and again. So I wondered whether or not today it might go a little bit easier on, on them. And we have a way to check whether or not it's going to be paid or not by looking at their failure rate. And it is currently um, quite low in that they're not uh, they're being quite successful today compared to yesterday. So I'll show you that in the bulletin. Uh, what's happening here is that we've got a positive SSI telling us that retail guys are that long. And even though we've got all these uh, th things going on in the world, like Ukraine, Russia, we've got the China COVID fears, um, possible another lockdown. Um, we've got inflationary fears, recession fears, and we've got CPI, we've got Fed speak, and even all these scary things that are going on, they're holding long at the big picture. So everyone, one person short, there's five people long on risk. So that's unusual and that's unhealthy because the dumb money should be conditioned to be fearful in order for them to sell. Once we, once they're conditioned to be fearful, then we'll rally. But we can't rally because they're, they're long, right? The dumb money are long. So this needs to come down a lot uh, for risk on at the big picture. There's a very subtle shift there. And uh, I think Fed, the Federal Reserve are they're uh, manipulating the VIX. I think that's my theory. I've got no evidence to prove it, but I think they're they're hammering it down on purpose. I think because if that spikes too much, then we'll we'll puke a lot as well, which might be what what we need maybe because these guys shouldn't be long, but we've got apes in, so it's quite tricky. Um, there's EJ. Uh, but you know we want the red and red to agree we don't want red and green ideally and uh, gold red red you know for a sell for example so we still need EJ to, to carry on shifting and once it goes into a positive number then it's going to be a sell that's why it's mixed okay so you want you want the colors to match okay so it's confirmation over time um, dollar is strongest on all time frames right and um, there's the dollar down there, okay? And it's kind of strange how they're bunched up like this, but that's just the bubbles, you know, it's the retail herd behavior. Aussie, they're long, but they're short. Swiss, uh, US dollar, Canadian dollar. Kiwi, pound and yen are mixed. Gold and euro are a strong sell with the Aussie. So I think maybe a jet, I've been saying it for a while, but I think the yen's gonna come down and it's gonna be like a wrecking ball. And uh, yeah, so dollar CAD, dollar Swiss would not be easy because of the proximity of the bubbles. Here's a snapshot of where we are right now. Um, you can see how they're long on the S&P, on the German 30, the France 40, but they're short in the UK 100. So that's probably uh, not helping the risk calculation because that's out of bonk. Uh, but that's that, you know, it's just retail guys for you. Uh, so S&P, they've gone long, despite all those uh, scary things that I mentioned at the top of the video. <laughs> they've gone long, they're trying to buy the dip. Uh, so yeah, whether or not it's going to work out for them. Uh, US 30, they bought the dip. So you can see where they've gone long on that, this hourly candle here, this one of the wick. So naughty wick there, because we end up falling and breaking that support. But that's where they've gone long. So hopefully you see that this there. Um, German 30, they shorted it, but then they've gone long. So you can see like a pixel difference here. So uh, that's currently a buy here because they shorted it and they're going to go long. See how we're going long. So, you know, we're good for a good rally. Once they short it, once they've gone long, we can dump. Right, it happens time and time again on multiple instruments on any time frame. Um, so just get a copy of this trading station. Uh, gold is sideways, but we are long 71%. So uh, we should be breaking, you know, this range really is, you know, it's not healthy as, at all. And we should be falling because of the sentiment. Um, we've got the two and the five, well, the two and the 10 are already inverted. So two 
and the 10. See that number's higher than this one. Now what might happen is the two and the five might invert. And if so, if this comes down, then we are gonna see a um, huge, uh, you know, an inversion. Uh, so we're already set in the motion for an inversion. We can see how that, that curve is coming down. If this pumps, it's gonna cause this to be more aggressive on the downside. Uh, so this is quite a risk off indication. I don't think this is lying. Fix is possibly lying because I think it's being manipulated. This is possibly not and it's bracing for a big day tomorrow on the CPI. Um, so yeah, be, be more, you know, be wary of that. Uh, stop loss clusters. So Aussie USD is 10% in size. So what happened is that they didn't get stopped out, but they simply moved their stops lower to 6709. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, we can see Aussie is strong sell and dollar is strong buy, so it's not going to work out for them. And what you will want is reds to agree. So Aussie USD has agreed. Aussie yen has agreed for a buy, which is interesting. So you, you want red and red, red and red, red and red, green and green, green and green. Dollar yen would be a mismatch. Gold is currently a mismatch. Okay. And euro Oz is a mismatch. So a lot of things are agreeing. Uh, so that's quite good and you know the key to get the things to agree then you want the time component to agree with the high level so are they already long or short but are they adding to that bias over time and that's the key okay uh, that's just mind blowing that size so check that level for Aussie USD and just a reminder that on the 1st of September they've um, revoked the huge discount to just 10 percent if you use the quasi db code so just bear that in mind it might be worth you getting an annual uh, subscription at, while, while on the heavy discount an annual subscription it's going to cost you a lot more after the first of september so um, i'd probably get the annual subscription while you can for the quasi db code on this big discount it's up to you uh, it's going to cost you uh 31 dollars uh, every month or ten dollars a month. It's up to you. So this is what I was saying about um, potentially it being payday for them because they got so destroyed yesterday. They've actually got a low failure rate, and um, so it might just be a payday scenario for them. If we're below fifty percent, we've got worse odds in the casino. Once we're above fifty percent, the trap's been placed. Sixty seventy percent is much better, and then you can enter knowing that that trap's in. Retail guys are put their bets on the casino and they're going to be squished right so this is why we wait for 60 or 70 percent because they've showed us their hand uh, the big fish and the sharks and the wolves know how they're positioned and they're going to run price against the herd so by waiting for them to be trapped then we won't be in that uh, majority and so that's going to be very, very powerful. This is a unique thing. I think that's probably the only one in the world that's gone to the sentiment to this degree, but it should be helpful and hopefully you understand the logic of the trap. Okay, so it happens in every single day and we want to avoid being trapped uh, by the wolves because they want uh, easy prey, right? And we don't want to be easy prey. We want it to be the predators. And so by waiting for a higher percentage, then it's going to uh, give that probability in our favor. Okay, so entering now would be uh, pointless because you know you, you're worse odds in the casino. So you might as well go to roulette table. And uh, signals, 189 pips, phenomenal day. Really, really happy. I'm not sure about today, so just be careful. And tomorrow is going to be crazy as well because the uh, there's the technical checks, just so you know. Okay, and uh, it's worth keeping an eye on. And the tomorrow's data we've got a lot of stuff we've got the bank of canada interest rate decision we've got cpi and we've got um, gdp <laughs> and uh lots of stuff we've got the zoo in two hours as well that used to be quite a big mover that might be shifting the the euro usd below parity so we have to keep an eye on that and that's it so I'll wrap up now and uh we're probably going to be risk off uh today but um Who's to say what's going to happen? It's uh, the US yields are pointing towards risk off. The VIX is saying risk on, but I think that's been manipulated. I think so. And also the risk calculation is telling us risk off because these guys shouldn't be long, and not really because they should be conditioned to be fearful. 
and they're so counter trend they need to be losing money so if stocks and the indices went up it would mean that these guys would get paid and that wouldn't be quite right they need to be losing money so hopefully it helps and they'll be back tomorrow um i might deactivate the signals tomorrow i'm not sure let me know what you think about that whether or not we should just let them run tomorrow because they might go awry they might be good so any feedback would be good and just let me know and uh, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.